East Coast Elk Reviews. Today, we got another beer review. This is Foster's Lager. And uh, this is, we'll look at the date. So it's fresh. It says May 31, 2021. It's got the date on the can. This is the, I believe they call it the oil can. It's a 25.4 ounce can. Um, I got beer I pulled up here. It's actually really cool. It's been on my mini fridge. Mini fridge does a pretty good job. So I got beer I pulled up here. Uh, this is Foster's Lager. It says Foster's Group Limited. Score on Beer Advocate 61 for poor. Style is Lager, Adjunct Lager. ABV 5% from Foster's Group Limited. Australia, year round. Availability is year round. But actually, on the side of the can, it says uh, brewed in the USA, found in Australia. Over 125 years ago, during the summer of 1888, the Foster brothers gave the thirsty people of Melbourne their first taste of true refreshment. Um, it says Australia's famous beer brand. And uh, yeah, I'm going to crack this up and go over the color with you guys. I actually really like this can. It's a nice, cool can. As you guys can see, it's pretty big. Compared to my glass, it's almost as big as my Spencer glass. A little bit of water left in the glass. But uh, yeah, let's crack this open, go over the color. Heard some uh, bad things about these cans. They kind of leak, tend to leak. Do my best to not spill it. Maybe like a sideways pour or something. Uh, yeah, let's go over the pour. A little bit of a spill. Definitely didn't make too much of a mess. A little bit less than I thought it was going to. Good thing I got some paper towels on standby. I figured that was going to happen. Um, so yeah, I mean, you don't want to be spilling your beer. Definitely something you don't want to do. So, uh, go with the color. It's got like a chilled haze to it because it's been in my mini fridge. Um, but it's a nice, uh, clear golden color produced about like a finger and a half white head lots of bubbles in there looks like it's going to be decently carbonated looks like it's going to leave a nice little lacing on the glass as well let's go for the nose on this so i believe they're using corn for their adjunct very grainy getting that sweet corn nice maltiness It's actually very bready as well, kind of getting like a bread crust. Nice light hint of hops. Definitely has like a decent aroma, nothing offensive on the aroma. They said for the most part, sweet corn, grainy, malty. Good amount of breadiness. Light hint of hops. Usually these adjunct lagers don't really have much of an aroma. This one's not bad. Getting a little bit more than average. Let's go for the taste on this one. This is my first time trying this beer. It's got like a prickly carbonation, so it's got that going for it. A little bit of hops on the on the finish. Definitely sweet corn up front. Good amount of breadiness as well. Nice multi backbone. Not bad. Honestly, it has a little bit more of a fuller flavor compared to other adjunct lagers. Yeah, it tastes pretty much the same as the uh, the aroma. Like I said, again, that sweetness. A little bit of hops on the finish. Grainy. Nice bread and milk. This is actually pretty good in my opinion. Um, like I said, this is my first time trying this. Not bad. Only thing that I have to say about it is the can does leak when you go to pour it, which I'm sure you guys know you don't want to be spilling your beer everywhere and it creates this big mess. Not only is it a mess, but you're also losing your beer. Really cool can, though. I like this can. It's actually really big. Like I said, compared to my Spencer glass, it's almost as big as it. Um... Carbonation is definitely good. It's got high carbonation. It's got like that prickly carbonation. Mouthfeel, I'd say about light to medium. It actually has a little bit fuller of a mouthfeel than uh, your typical adjunct lager. Like I 
this at a little bit of hops. Cyclops scale, it's got a good amount of sweetness. It really does. Uh, but I think it's actually well rounded. I'm gonna say like two and a half out of five sugar cubes, and like two and a half out of five hop cones. Nice, crisp, clean, refreshing. I could see this being actually a really good beer to enjoy while it's hot out. Nice, hot summer day. Maybe after you just load up, load, mowed the lawn. <laughs> I like it though. Like I said, drinkable, nice, crisp, clean, refreshing. I believe the only packaging I get Foster's in is these 25 ounce cans, 25.4 ounce. And uh, $2.29 before tax for this can not bad um, I enjoy it um, like I said it's actually got some more flavor going for it compared to like other adjunct lagers I'm gonna give this one a 7 out of 10 with that being said um, I kind of wanted to give it a little bit higher of a rating because um, it does have a decent amount going for it but I mean like I said this is the only packaging I can get and that that can um, spill like that definitely is uh, kind of annoying um, like I said, the availability is good. I see this everywhere in my area, but like I said, you really can only get it in this packaging. I haven't seen it in like six packs or anything else. So I think 7 out of 10 is a good rating. I also have this to review. I picked this up. I heard some good stuff about this one as well. This is the uh, Foster's Ale. It says Premium Ale. going to be doing a review on that soon. It's another... Uh, 25.4 ounce uh, oil can, I guess they call it. Um, some uh, serving fats. It's uh, 146 calories, 11.2 grams of carbs, 0 grams of fat, 1.1 gram of protein, 5% alcohol by volume. Uh, excuse me, there's that carbonation, like I said. Um, yeah, I enjoy it. I'm going to recommend it to you guys. Um, if you guys like uh, adjunct lagers, I think you'll enjoy this one as well. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be doing another review on that uh, the Foster's Premium Ale. And uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's anything else that you guys like to see on my channel, definitely leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for my upcoming videos. Like a beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.